installing the new tubular bumper on my Jeep Gladiator. Okay, we are underneath the Gladiator. First of all, I'm going to start with disconnecting some of the wiring. We have the hitch wiring here we have to go ahead and pull out. Then up here, we have another wire for the lights we have to disconnect. And then we have to remove the wire that runs from the Jeep, which is right here, connected via a couple of little push things, one there and one up here, I believe, so that when we pull this wire off of here, uh, it'll be free. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect these and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, once you get the wires dangling here, you can see there's a little clip here that has to come off. That was attached to the bumper, and then there are two clips, one here and one here, for the wiring that will come off with the bumper. That was attached back beyond here, so you have to remove it to pull the bumper. Now, we need to remove the two screws uh, holding the license plate on, or maybe four if you've got all four in there. Uh, because there's two screws behind there we have to remove, uh, along with a couple others I'll show you in a minute to get the bumper off. We've got the two bolts exposed. These are 16 millimeter. You wanna go ahead and remove those. Next up, underneath the truck, you've got two nuts on each side. These are holding the bumper on now. Um, you wanna make sure you support the bumper just in case you know it can fall on you or anything. But these are 16 millimeter. There's two on each side. We want to remove all of those and then the bumper should be free unless I forgot to unplug something. We shall see. There we go. I didn't forget anything. Awesome. Next up, you have to remove the tow hooks because we're not going to be using these. They can't be used with the new bumper. We've got two bolts on top uh, on each side and these I believe are 18 millimeter. We shall see. These are 13 sixteenths. There's probably a metric that'll fit as well, but 13 sixteenths fits pretty good too. All right, now that we have the OEM bumper off, there's a few things we have to transfer. The license plate uh, lights are gonna go in here. Um, the trailer wiring is gonna go, let's see, that's gonna go in here. Uh, and then the wiring harness itself. This wiring harness we have to take off because that is what is going to run the license plate light. So we'll just have to pull these little brackets. Uh, one thing I noticed, there is nothing back here that I can see anyway um, to fasten those down once you transfer them over. So we'll have to wire tie those up somehow um, because there is no provided slots or anything back here or a way to secure the wiring. Nonetheless, you do need to pull this off and transfer it to the new bumper. So we'll do that next. This stuff is pretty simple. It's just held on by a bunch of clips and stuff. It's pretty intuitive. You can see there's a clip here uh, that just pulls these things out. And the same thing with the license plate brackets as well. All right, we've got everything transferred. The reverse lights and the tow plug. Show it to you from the back. Everything just snaps in. The license plate lights, as well as the tow hitch, or plug, I should say, it just pushes through and everything comes through from the front. Now, you have this wire, this was what I was talking about. I pulled this off of the existing bumper, or the OEM bumper, but you have to do something with this. Otherwise, it's just gonna kinda hang down there below the bumper, right? So, I think, famous last words, right? I think what I'm gonna do is kinda zip tie it maybe through here somehow, bunch it up and zip tie it behind because there's nothing behind here that we're gonna run into, I don't think. So we shouldn't have any issues there. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna move on to the next step, which is a couple of brackets through here and on the truck and then we're ready to put it on. Okay, apparently the next step is to go ahead and install the lights. That's because some of these other brackets that you're gonna put on the back will be in the way. And this is kind of that step I was talking about in the previous video about making sure you do it in the right order. Otherwise you're putting stuff on and taking it back off to put stuff back on. So these are pretty simple. They're just four bolts. Uh, they fit right through the holes uh, in the 
bumper itself. So again, pretty intuitive. You just stick them through there and tighten them down. All right, we've got the lights in. A little tip for you. Angle them down to put the screws in here first. Don't do this side first like I did because you'll never get the nuts and stuff on uh, if you do that. So leave them down, tilt it out, put the nuts and stuff on, and then do the easy part. Next up are these little brackets. These are the threaded, they call them flag bolts, I guess, but they go inside. They're what are actually gonna hold most of the bumper on. They go through the slots on the bumper and they give you these little plastic holders to hold them in place. Really a great idea. Little tip for you here. Don't try to push them down. They don't really push well. You just thread them down and they go on really, really easily. Next up is to put these little brackets on the sides. They're gonna actually bolt in uh, on the sides of the fixed bracket here. So a bolt's gonna go through there, that's gonna be fun. Uh, but they go on the side of the Jeep like this, you bolt them down through. You wanna make sure you leave all of this stuff loose, by the way, until you get the bumper on. Uh, otherwise, you're probably gonna be unloosening it uh, so that you can make it fit. So we're gonna drop a couple bolts and some nuts down through, put these on and move on to the next part. Okay, we got it all done. It took about well, four or five hours for me to do it by myself. Let's take a look. Underneath was just a matter of bolting on everything that I showed you earlier. Uh, I do not have the ditch lights wired up yet. Um, just running out of time. I have a commitment tonight, so I can't finish it. Um, but I have to run wiring uh, from the front to the back. Not a big deal, uh, hopefully. So we'll do that in the next video. I'll show you how to do the wiring. There is a way to get through the firewall, by the way. I'm very curious to see how it goes, though, running the wire under the truck and whether they actually gave me enough. Um, everything fits. Again, we have the license plate lights, the tow hook, or the tow hook, the towing wiring or the tow package. And then I have the D-rings, which I'm going to do something with. They did supply D-rings, shackles, if you will, uh, but they're black. I'm not going to leave them black. We'll probably lump that together with the uh, wiring video, which should be coming up pretty darn soon. Maybe tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of my new, very heavy Jeep Gladiator rear bumper. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive Rides, all about the C300 Mercedes-Benz, and Rob Motive, all about Toyota Tacomas. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.